Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from Momentor and I have really exciting news. Two amazing new benefits are coming your way with the meal plans. The first is that now you get to rate recipes. That's right, you get to rate your recipes and write a review so if you made any little tweaks or any modifications, you can write it down and now you'll remember it forever so when you're going back or you're revisiting a recipe, you already know, oh I did love that or oh maybe that wasn't so good or oh my gosh it was really a great idea to use broccoli instead of green beans. So that's how Happening. But another feature, super exciting, is we now have popularity polls. That means you get to vote on the recipes you're most excited to make and then see what everyone else picks too. And this can be really helpful if you're coming back from vacation and you're like, gosh, I missed it on three weeks of meal plans. I don't, what did I miss out on? What was the best? Now you know, you can reference it. Or if you're one of those people who's a little shy or a little nervous to try new things and you're waiting to see what others do first and how they rate things. Now you have that information. So I'm gonna walk you through so you can see how to use these new features and what's gonna sort of look like in the new user experience on the dashboard. So when you first come in, it will ask you to take this week's poll so you can vote on what's exciting, what you're looking forward to. And so let's see, um, I'm gonna pick this one. Oh, well, I always wanna pick everything, but just for this video, I'm gonna pick these three as my favorites. All right, I'm saving my excitement. Cool, and so when you guys are doing this, and there's a whole bunch of you at once, you're gonna see these really awesome poll results, but in this temporary, here we go. These are the exciting ones, so yay, very exciting. And um, it's over here on the side, letting you know what you voted for, just in case you forget. And as more polls come in and the weeks progress, you'll see all the different links to all the different polls. So that'll be really helpful. Now let's talk about reviews. So let's say, all right, I finally went ahead and made the chickpea gyro. So I wanna write my review. I come on up to review and I pick chickpea gyro. And so, oh, to kind of go back on this last screen, um, when you have reviews, once you've made a lot of re reviews, they'll show up here, so you can always very quickly see your past reviews. But, so, coming back to my chickpea gyro, I have three choices. I loved it, it's okay, or I'm not a fan. And so, I'm gonna say, I loved it. And I served this with broccoli, and it was great as a side, say review. So now when I come to reviews, I will always see that and if an image is available, it will pop up because that's always super helpful. So I wanna write another review. So let's say the jerk polenta. Um, I wasn't a fan. My family doesn't like allspice in jerk recipes. There we go. Save my review. And then the same, I come back, and now both of my reviews are there. Chick jerk, loved it, jerk, not plenty, and my notes. You don't have to leave a note, it's just for you if you want to. And that's what you'll be able to do every week. Every time you make a recipe, you'll be able to rate it and leave a review. The reviews are private, so only you can see them. But everyone will be able to see the poll results, so you will see what's super duper popular and what people are loving or not loving or tweaking. And um, that's pretty much it. I really am excited to share this with you guys, and I hope that this really just makes our community even better because we already do so much with sharing on Instagram and the forums, and now you can do it on the dashboard. And also, it'll be really helpful because you'll always know, you'll always remember, and be able to easily find, what was that recipe with beets I really loved? Now you can. Enjoy, guys.